today is Vlogmas Day 15, and it is Vastmas Day 4. But additionally, it's also the first day of Project for Awesome, which is a 48 hour live stream fundraiser that the Vlog Brothers do through with Nerdfighteria, where they try and raise money for the foundation to decrease world suck which is the actual name of the charity giving arm of nerdfighteria it, it, it it's a little weird <laughs> but it's for it, it's 48 hours uh, of shenanigans and weirdness and the first the money raised in the first 24 hours goes to predetermined charities because matching funds and getting matching funds is easier when you have the charities designated and the se the money raised in the second 24 hours is given to charities and not for profits chosen by the community via voting on videos saying hey this is a charity or not for profit we should be giving money to like National Novel Writing Month and the Office of Letters and Light which is really important to me. I, I was the ML for my my National Novel Writing Month region this year and it was my 10th or 11th year doing NaNo and it's been very important for me as a writer and also as an artist. And my, the other one that I always support is the Harry Potter Alliance. Not only is it Harry Potter themed, but they are an activist group. And they do things like the apparating library. It's basically a book drive where they send books to communities that don't have that don't have libraries, can't support libraries. So yeah, they they do all sorts of things throughout the year, and, and just a little thing for 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 Max if Max decides to watch this. You said you liked my Skellera, that he was your son. This is the zombie bunny that I mentioned. Here is my Skellicro perfect bird son. I mentioned that I have an actual deer skull. Now, it looks a bit peculiar because it's it's still in its guise from a sculpture that I had it on recently. It's been in four or five installations slash art pieces. The last one was for a blacklight show. Hence this stuff, it's blacklight tape. So it glows. But yes, there are my, my skeleton and zombie friends. I also have a piece that has a muskrat skeleton on it. But the Plague Doctor is currently packed away in my con stuff. Okay, so Vastmas, day four, is to tell about your favorite scene from season two. I actually wrote notes, which is a worry. And I might not get through this without bawling. So there you go. So basically... As per usual, there are just too many in season two to really pick one, but I managed to do it. Though I would like to preface this by saying that any interaction between Marisa and Viz are my, in my top ten everythings. As, especially if there is interest in she's snorkeling, because Sam and Max are just fantastically peculiar people who are so affectionate and are so... It, it's like... I don't think they knew each other before the thing, but that they, they they committed to it, and it's like by the end of Vast Season Two, Vast Season Two, you're just like, yeah, if they're they're not basically best friends now. I don't know what's going on. So yes, <laughs> anything involving them, I am here for. So you know, on brand, on theme. But I think my favorite, my my favorite scene, my absolute favorite scene, is when Chrome takes over Visionary Destroyer. Because the sheer quality of acting and RPing in this scene is just phenomenally unbelievable. Sam, Max, Colin, they are just so completely on in this scene. And Max as Chrome's entire monologue about daddy is entirely unsettling in the best possible way. And then you visualize it coming from Visionary Destroyer's body with all of Visionary Destroyer's history, and it's even worse. But I think my favorite part of that scene is when Merza spikes Chrome via Viz. And it's and Merza doesn't do this because Chrome is a terrible entity or anything like that. Chrome is just very young and doesn't really understand 
the consequences of his actions, just has believed everything that his daddy has told him about Kaza Cool's everything. But because Merza knows how bad things are going to go, and Merza knows that Visionary Destroyer would never want to be a tool or a weapon of Kaza Cool's plans, they take the chance that they might kill their bondmate, that they might sacrifice their bondmate to save trillions upon trillions of lives, to save the universe. And this is one of those things that, it's like, it's true of all of the characters, to a greater or lesser extent, but is so central to Merza and Visionary Destroyer that they do what's right and not what's easy. And, and the, the, this is how things should be. We try and ensure that no lives are lost in the thing. But when that isn't possible, and it usually isn't, we try to ensure that ours are the lives that are given. And when that's not possible, we try to ensure that the fewest lives that are possible are lost and that they are willing. And if they can't be willing, that they are sacrificed quietly, of uh, humanely. It's so weird to use the word humanely when we're talking about a space bat, a space bug, the physical embodiment of a linguistic interface, basically, because this might be a good idea as a tongue, literally, metaphorically, and basically a tiny baby child like Skynet. But yeah, we're gonna say humanely. If you can't fulfill the other things, you try for humanely. And there, there's this. There's this line from the West Wing episode, Game On, which Debate Camp and Game On are my two favorite West Wing episodes. And in it, Bartlett says that every once in a while there's an absolute right and there's an absolute wrong. And those days almost always end in body counts. And I think that's, that's apt for the, for the text that is vast. And I think that's more true than we like it to be in the world we live in but that kind of grayness that 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 the that these severe rights and wrongs exist but they are so not easily accessible because there's so much gray is really important and is a conversation that's really important to have and that scene that moment and all the context that exists around it just encompasses that thought so okay that was super heavy, <laughs> and it wasn't really meant to be, but it's been, been been rattling around in my brain all day, hence why, hence why there are notes, because things. That is my favorite scene slash moment of season two, because I like an upper. I am going to go away and edit things and watch more of the project for awesome and then watch gather your party tonight because shenanigans my life is filled with shenanigans and i will be back tomorrow with another video another vlogmas video more more vastness and probably more project for awesome because everything's kind of you know coalescing together and I am trying to deal with the fact that I'm not at Con Alt Delete this weekend which is making me really 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 angry especially since this artist that I really really like who I've never met is there and I'm just like I could be talking to them I could be getting art for them and instead I am home all right I'm gonna go courage Hey, I got this far without, like, losing my thing.